what does a herd of llamas have to do with COVID-19? It's not the start of a joke, but it could be the route to a cure. Barney Jones looks after the animal's welfare. We have Sonny, we have Toddy, we have Spot, we have Alfie, Oscar, the one sitting down. And meet Fifi, the star of this particular show. Fifi is the first llama in, on the university's farm that we've used in COVID-19 research. Llamas and other uh, camelid species, such as camels and alpacas, produce specialised small antibodies, different to what you and I produce. So what we do is we introduce a dead COVID or small COVID um, protein into the llamas and they produce a natural nanobody response. So they're small antibodies that bind onto the proteins that we introduce. These pictures from a similar trial with alpacas in Germany show nanobodies binding with the coronavirus protein spike. The COVID virus is, is kind of a round virus that's got lots of spikes on it. And these spikes, we think, are the things that latch onto our cells and infect us. So the idea is maybe if we produce a nanobody that can bind onto those spikes, or lots of those spikes, we can prevent the virus from attaching to our cells and in that way prevent infections. So the fight against the coronavirus has come to this, a herd of llamas in an English field. It's not as unlikely as you might think. The first llama-derived drug was produced last year for the treatment of a rare blood disease, and that's triggered real optimism about similar treatments for a range of cancers, for Alzheimer's and dementia, and also now, of course, for COVID-19. The daily pace of llama life is slow, and so too the pace of scientific research. But already there are promising results with the possibility of human trials in a year using llama nanobodies to neutralize the coronavirus. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Reading.